An explosion occurred near a checkpoint of a military unit of the Russian guards in Ekaterinburg city on September 11, the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine reported on Thursday. The agency described the attack on Russian military checkpoint as an act of retribution for Russian crimes committed in the occupied territories of Ukraine. The explosion was carried out by guerrillas in Russia with the help of Ukrainian intelligence, the agency revealed in a statement published on Thursday. The explosive device made with a total mass of 6 kilograms was secretly planted near the checkpoint of the Russian guards. As a result of the explosion, the enemy's army personnel were blown up, and the vehicles of Russian criminals were damaged, the main intelligence directorate stated. Russian sources reported that one person was injured during the attack on Ekaterinburg, while the Russian Anti-Terror Commission stated that the threat had been neutralized. To eliminate the consequences of the explosion, Russian special services and ambulances arrived at the scene of the incident, and a medical evacuation helicopter was lifted into the air. Earlier, the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine identified 30 people from the command staff of the 112th Missile Brigade of the Russian Federation involved in the shelling of Sumy and Kharkiv regions. It should be noted that Ukraine has stepped up attacks on Russian territory in response to Kremlin's targeting civilian infrastructure in Ukraine's territory. The Phoenix ghost attack drones that the U.S. is supplying to Ukraine have remained a mystery for a long time. The drone was never mentioned until the Biden administration announced in March 2022 that it was transferring 121 Phoenix ghosts to Kiev. As Forbes writes, these drones were apparently very successful because the U.S. then promised Ukraine another 580 birdies. The announcement of the aid package in July 2023 mentioned Phoenix Ghost and Switchblade unmanned aerial systems. The official details have never been released about the Phoenix Ghost. After a flurry of mentions in Defense Department reports, it disappeared. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby said in April 2022 that it provides a similar capability to the Switchblade series of unmanned systems. Similar capabilities but not precision. The Phoenix Ghost is a real piece of equipment that is supplied and used by Ukrainian forces on a regular basis and has impressive new capabilities. And something very similar to the Phoenix Ghost was used to attack Russian territory. There are no images of the drone in the public domain. However, some details were shared by Skip Arney, Vice President of AVIX Aerospace. This is a great example of rapid response capability, and we actually got a request for a system. This is an example of systems that vary in range, payload, and type, he said. There are several different drones operating under the Phoenix Ghost umbrella, rather than a single drone. In April 2024, at the Army Aviation Mission Summit 2024, AVIX unveiled a munition called the Atlas. It has a bigger brother, the Dominator, which has not yet been fielded. The Russians use reconnaissance drones in close cooperation with Landsets and other attack drones to locate targets. Phoenix Ghost probably operates as a combination hunter-killer long-range reconnaissance drone that works with several kamikaze drones. Others may act as communications relays or provide electronic warfare support. The design of the Atlas drone is hidden. However, given that Ukraine currently has a number of locally produced attack drones, as well as imported Polish warmates and American switchblades, identifying them would be difficult. The downed munitions may provide more clues, but they are few. Ukraine has carried out many long-range drone attacks using a variety of drones. Some of these are known types, but there are several others that have not yet been identified. The Phoenix Ghost could be a significant game changer. It would be interesting to know how much of the huge recent increase in Russian artillery losses was due to these munitions. It all depends on the US's willingness to provide drones and use them where they will have the greatest effect. Phoenix Ghost may yet rise from the ashes of obscurity and become one of the biggest success stories of this conflict. The publication concluded. During the Ukrainian counter-offensive in the summer of 2023, the elite 47th Brigade went into battle with Leopard 2A6 tanks and M2 Bradley Infantry fighting vehicles. 
However, in the first months of the counter-offensive, the brigade lost a lot of Western military equipment and changed its tactics. In September 2024, the 47th Brigade received its first respite, redeploying to the territory of the Dnipropetrovsk district, Forbes reports. The brigade is currently being rebuilt, military equipment is being repaired, and there is hope that the US will supply another batch of Bradleys. Earlier this week, the US announced a new $250 million military aid package, which includes the M2 BPM. The armored vehicle can carry up to 10 people and is equipped with 25mm cannons and tow anti-tank missiles. The exact number of M2s that the US will supply to Ukraine is unknown, but there are more than a thousand in storage facilities. The 47th Brigade, which has received the most American armor, still needs it, as it has demonstrated its skills on the battlefield. Currently, the battles are conducted with the help of both Bradley and M1 Abrams tanks in 31 units, as well as assault breacher armored vehicles in six units. Of all the Western military armored vehicles that Ukraine has received since 2022, the most reliable and combat ready has proven to be the Bradley armored vehicle. Experts say the 47th Brigade's three battalions have 100 Bradleys each. The general staff of Ukraine constantly throws the 47th Brigade into the hottest spots of the front. At first, there was the defense of Avdiivka. After nine months of daily fighting, the brigade left the front in early September to rest and recover. After the enemy broke through the Ukrainian armed forces defenses in the Ocharetino area, the soldiers from the 47th Brigade were thrown into battle again. In just five months of intense fighting, the brigade lost 30% of its Abrams and up to 20 Bradley vehicles on the battlefield. It is difficult to predict how long the 47th Mechanized Brigade will rest. Enemy forces are still advancing toward Pokrovsk and are also making small gains north and south of the city.